Mindset, a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Welcome to a brand new week, a brand new episode of Morning Mindset. And we actually, we are at a benchmarker. We reached a uh, kind of a, a high water mark, I guess you could say, in the Morning Mindset. We did episode 200 last week, and now we're moving on. This is episode number 201. How did I come up with 200 things to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I did, and here we are, and we're advancing. Now, as I speak the words into this microphone, and this is getting ready to be broadcast out to you, it is now December. That's right. So uh, we're getting ready for the season of Christmas. I know that your local Walmart probably had Christmas decorations out in September, but for me, I don't really start getting excited about the season of Christmas until it is December. Let's talk about understanding the X in Christmas. Now, maybe it is you who is guilty of this, or you know someone, a relative, a friend. Many of us may have an aunt or a grandmother or a mother or an uncle. It's usually women that, that get all bunged up about this, but it could be men too, that have told you every year, it seems like, that this person rails against the use of XMAS. And they have con tried to convince you, they have told you that that is a secular, worldly way of trying to remove Christ from Christmas. And you may have seen uh, the bulletin boards or the, the uh, reader boards out in front of the church that say things like, let's keep Christ in Christmas and similar things, right? Well, People who say that don't know anything really about the history of the Christian church. And I'm going to, head, I'm going to go ahead and uh, quote from an article uh, called, The X in Christmas Literally Means Christ. Yes, if they're not trying to remove Christ from Christmas by using the X. Um, and, and the article goes like this. You probably heard the phrase, keep Christ in Christmas, and so on and so forth. Uh, the idea always seems the same, that uh, the using X is to rub out or remove Christ from the Christmas season. But that is not the case at all. The X actually comes from the Greek Christos or key, C-H-I, meaning Christos or Christ. Now, I remember when I was a kid going to going to church uh, during the Christmas season, and I I was uh, raised in a Lutheran church. And if you know anything about the Lutheran church, uh, they are very big on Christmas trees because Martin Luther was real big on Christmas trees. Now, I know that there are people in the in the secular world or even in the Christian world that will debate whether or not Martin Luther was the first person to cut down a pine tree and bring it inside and decorate it and call it a Christmas tree. Some people say that that's not true, that it goes all the way back to pagan, the blah, 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 whatever. I don't care. But the fact of the matter is, if, if you grew up in a Lutheran church like I did, they put up Christmas trees every year, big ones. And they decorated them with Christian-themed ornaments. And one of the Christian-themed ornaments was a very decorative PX. And you're like, it's like the, the letter P over an X. And that is the, the key row, meaning Jesus Christ. It's shorthand for Jesus Christ. And you may have seen... Uh, the word X-I-A-N used for Christian as a shorthand for Christian. And that is perfectly legit. It is a perfectly legit thing to do. 
So I just wanted to touch on that real quick, because, and, and I know I have had my, my own relatives, people that I'm very close with, you know, for years have said things and like, don't use – and what's, you know what's weird or strange about this whole XMAS thing or Christmas thing? I don't recall growing up or in my youth anyone complaining about that. Uh, but my entire life, as long as I can remember, uh, Merry Christmas has been abbreviated XMAS. Uh, I, I remember being a child, being in elementary school, seeing that. But I don't remember people complaining about it or getting on their high horse about it uh, until recent history, I, I guess. So before, uh, during this this Advent season, during this Christmas season, during this holiday season, if you have one of those people in your lives that says, you know, that admonishes you never to write out XMAS or that the use of XMAS is the worldly or secular way to try and steal Christmas away from Christ or remove Christ from the Christmas season, understand this. That's not the case at all. Matter of fact, it's Christians who started using the X or the Greek C-H-I or key as Christos, meaning Christ. So the X in Christmas is not, it doesn't mean Xmas. <laughs> it's, it's not like an episode of uh, Futurama where they refer to the holiday as Xmas. And it was Christians actually who started using it. So uh, the next time your your beloved Aunt Susie gets all bunged up and she wants to uh, she wants to tell you not to use that, you might want to say, "All right, let's go ahead and educate ourselves a little bit and uh, <laughs> use the language properly and know what we're talking about." And maybe that's part of being a, a productive and positive individual. Maybe have it leading a positive and productive life. One of the ways we can do this is to actually know what we're talking about. Think about that. What a cool concept that is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you guys today. It's the Christmas season. I hope you're you're getting excited about it. I hope that you have some, I don't know uh, where you're living in the world, but I hope if you live above the frost line that you get some snow for Christmas. And I know it's still early in the season. I'm perfectly aware of that, but I'm into it. All right. Merry Christmas, and I will talk to you again real soon. <laughs> Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.